let's see. If anyone is here, I need to know if you can hear us. It was three people there. Put a um, something in the chat. Yeah, great. You want me to type it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Our friend said he can hear us. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it has been officially, as of a couple of days ago, uh, Friday. Yeah, our one year in Ecuador. So, give myself a little round of applause there. Uh, so today, we just want to talk about the past year, and you know the good, the bad, the things we've done, uh, things still yet to come. But basically, just covering the last year and how we've adapted to living in a new country. So please, uh, anyone that's watching, please uh, ask as many questions as you like. So I'm gonna yeah, try to keep it interesting. Of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> over the course of the year, of the year, what we've done, or yeah. if you have any questions about anything, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so to start, uh, last year, March 31st, uh, we flew into Guayaquil, and that was our second time in Guayaquil. And <laughs> you got a comment about your hair. Oh, thank you, V. Um, oops, thought I highlighted it. Okay, there it is. And so we knew what we were getting into when we got to Guayaquil. Uh, when we first got here, we had to get our uh, sedulas in Guayaquil. So we stayed there in Airbnb on the uh, Malecon for two weeks. It was two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Was it two weeks? Yeah, it was like 15 okay. days. Um, yeah, we had to, because when we got here, we we were not aware, or were you aware, that we had to have insurance, private yeah, insurance, yeah. to get the cedula. Yeah, you had to have the private insurance first to be able to get your cedula. And you had to have your cedula to be able to get IESS. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, we had to start that process. Hello, Robert from Tallahassee. How big a suitcase to pack your big monitor? Oh, okay, so uh, the monitor, is it? It's not a 28 inch. Okay, so there's different rules depending on if it's a monitor versus if it's a television. Now, that being said, the, the average person just looking at something in your suitcase couldn't tell you if it's a TV or a monitor. Unless they're looking at the connections on the back and all this other stuff and see if it has a remote. Um, they're not going to go through all that. They're not going to go through all that. So I probably could have came with something bigger. But that being said, uh, I want to say computer monitors maxes out at, it was either 24 or 28 inches. Mm -hmm. And TVs, I think, were 32. Uh... So it was just a regular suitcase that I packed, my monitor that I bought from uh, Best Buy. Uh, I think I took, I took it out of the box and kind of left some of the styrofoam and packed some stuff around it to make sure it was safe. Uh, so didn't need a big uh, suitcase. Um, TV, and that was after, actually. That was after we came initially. That was when we went back to the States mm -hmm. and then came back because I needed a monitor. Uh, I bought a TV after we got here. 
How's the scooter running problems, traffic? Well, that would be his question because yeah. I don't drive. <laughs> so the, the scooter actually is really clutch, honestly. We don't, we don't do a lot of just you know, traveling on it, but it's one of those things that when, it's, when you have it and you're going to do something that could require a, a, you know, a, a short ride, but a hot walk, and that scooter is really clutch. Uh, <laughs> just, just for like an example, like today I went to go get a couple sticks that I needed for my plants. And I, walking, it was really hot today. So like walking, I would have been dripping sweat and whatnot by the time I got down there and back. It was only a few blocks. I was like, oh, let me go get on a scooter and do this. Perfect for that, that little situation. Yeah, for a quick run. Yeah, just any kind of quick run. So we love it. It runs great. Uh, hasn't given us any problems yet. Traffic, we don't deal with a lot of traffic because we're not on like really busy streets on the scooter. No. Um, even yeah. when we went to like Supermaxi, we took the back roads. So it wasn't it wasn't too bad. The one time I was on the main road was the first day I got it. And I didn't have a choice because I had to bring it back. So yeah, that was a little... Uh, that was adventurous. Yeah, she wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, I was just like eating sand and I didn't have <laughs> a helmet. Because didn't have to have a helmet. Yeah, and there was like buses going by and people on other scooters flying by. I could definitely have went faster, but I was like, okay, just let me, I just need to get back home yeah. and park this thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't want earthenware furnishes. Are they like, they're like porcelain, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, the ones that we have actually came with the apartment. Yeah. Um, we have another set. We've never even opened it yet. Well, hey, Shirley. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ten years younger. Uh, thanks. Oh, um, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It put me back in my 30s, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, oh, where were we? Uh, why I killed? We had to get our sedula. So, if... Anyone here was planning on moving to, you know, Ecuador. You fly into... You e either Quito or Guayaquil. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to, if you want to get a cedula when you get here, then you're going to want to take care of that before you leave one of the major cities. Uh, so, like, if you're in Guayaquil or Quito, just take care of it while you're there. It's so much easier. Um, so, yeah, after that, you know, we, we went ahead and came to our destination, which was Salinas. And um, that's where we've been ever since. Yeah, we uh, started off with an Airbnb before we uh, found a location. So what we've learned, when, so we're talking about <laughs> uh, moving and whatnot. Since we've been here, we are aware of areas, areas that flood. So that's been very positive. So when you, if you decide to move here, it's best you rent mm -hmm. than buying it. Because buying unseen or, you know, not seen, you don't know where you're going to wind up. You could be in a flooded area. Yeah. Um, it may look great. Here's the thing. It may look yeah. great in the pictures, but you got you to gotta get here because some places look great in the pictures and they don't look as good when you see them in person. And there's other places that may not look as good in the pictures, but look a lot better in person. So you really got to take a look. Just yeah. It's get, better for yeah. you to come and get a feel. Get some suggestions for people who've been around, who are around here for like a decent Airbnb to, to rent while you're looking for an apartment. Because um, they can tell you, you know, like our places. friend told us, you don't want to stay in this area, it floods. And so being here and, and because of the weather, yeah. the, you know, El Nino. Um, yeah, it was La Nina. El Nino it was La Nina yeah. last year and it's El Nino yeah. this year. The weather's year. a little bit different this year, honestly, uh, so far. Um, let's he's, see. He's, he's right there on the screen. Well, the rest of it is right here, though. Oh. Um, so, yes, we live in a furnished condo. It came with everything that we pretty much needed. Um, we bought a few extra things, um, a few items. But for the most part, it came with everything we needed. Uh, LaShawn was very uh, prudent about making sure that we brought sheets and blankets. I didn't bring any well, blankets. Sheets, I'm sorry, sheets. <laughs> sheets. Sheets and towels, towels yeah. are some of the things you want to bring because the sheets and towels... Um, comforters of, of na bedding of nature is kind of on the uh, more expensive side yeah. and not good as stuff. not as uh, a, as a good, good quality, quality yeah. what you have in the States. Yeah. But um, 
Uh, let's see, what do we miss? Hmm. What do we miss? Furniture wise, I guess. Furniture wise? I don't know. I don't really miss. Uh, well. I, I mean, know. I don't, anything I need, I can find. Yeah. yeah, we can find. The fact that we can't just come out and answer that question is, <laughs> <laughs> is like kind of telling. Because there's not really a lot that I mean, because, no, because in the States, you know, going to the store is convenient. Yeah. We have it in several different stores. But doing that, I was just wasting money because yeah. I was just going to the store and just buying whatever, you know, I wanted. Or buying something because it was on sale. You and know, I didn't That you never use. So, yeah. Now is basically we are buying based on need. Right. So we have everything. I really don't miss anything for us purchasing or right. having um, housewives. Yeah. Uh, do we ever uh, wish we had moved a container? Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. No. 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 Um, I can't emphasize that enough. And that's that just for us. Yeah. You know I mean? For someone Others, else it may be fine, yeah. but... For us, you know, we just sold everything that yeah. we realized how much stuff we just didn't need. And I can say for those who, say, have purchased um, a, a condo or house, then, yeah, I guess a container yeah. would be more convenient for them because yeah. they don't have to rebuy all of that stuff. But because we were just coming Come with our rent, we were, yeah. planning, we were planning on renting for like one to three years anyway. Yeah. So, so. yeah, it, was, it didn't make sense for us to bring a container. And it's a lot of money, too. And you have to be very particular about where you want to stay because some condos don't have a lot of things you may need. Right. So it just depends. You have to figure out what your needs are, what you want. Right. And you, you will kind of, you, if you bring a lot of stuff in a container, you're going to kind of pigeonhole yourself into the places that you can move into because a lot of places here, even new constructions are like fully furnished. So you have to get rid of some of that stuff in there if you want your stuff. Or get rid of some of your stuff. Is some of the stuff that's there might be better. Well, but not new it's, construction. It's people who've already bought the, the kind of. I yeah, mean, yeah. I mean, but like a lot of those new constructions will come fully furnished. You mean if they're like not once, buying? You mean if they're renting? No, if they're buying, because you can buy you can buy a fully furnished condo. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, like I the building I, next door. No, I don't think I would do that. Yeah, but I want my own stuff. <laughs> Uh, new flight, the time goes to Quanker. Yeah, I heard about that. That's actually pretty awesome. And we heard, we don't know how, you know, solid it is, but that they may be opening up the airport here eventually in Salinas for like local flights, which would be really, truly clutch. I'm telling you. Can you stop saying clutch? No, I'm just I can't stop saying I'm clutch. Tired, you know, I'm saying clutch. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, awesome <laughs> is great. Uh, how do you feel about Ecuador allowing civilians to carry guns? Eh, uh, I don't know. Like, it's just one of those things. Just from my personal background in the military and then working in, like, law enforcement for years, it's, it's, not, it's not really the solution. Um, but I can, see, I can see why people would want it. I get it. Uh, so, like, I don't, I'm kind of indifferent about it, honestly. Stephanie, yes, uh, Stephanie helped us a ton, and she continues to help us. <laughs> She's been excellent, uh, one of the best resources that we could possibly ask for in every respect. Um, Stephanie, if you watch, if you're watching this now, if you watch it later, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you so we, much. We owe her many lunches. Yeah. <laughs> um, first time here live, yay, what beautiful hair. I think you know who I'm speaking of. Well, I mean, look, all right. isn't that nice and trim? <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we are by car four four hours from Monta. So mileage wise, I, I forgot how exactly how far it is. It's not for like American hours far. It's because the speed limit here and the roads are like a, it's a little bit different. So it takes four hours for us to get from here to Monta, even though it's not quite that far. Hey, sis. Hey. I know she does. <laughs> uh, love the content. Discovery through D and H. Hey, hey, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, I had a great conversation uh, with Herman and the fellas uh, the other day, last week, and um, plan on uh, maybe doing a video with them in the near future. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I really appreciate you uh, coming over. Uh, where were we? Uh, we were talking about condos oh, yeah. and um, what you can, you know, what you're looking for when you move here and yeah. not to. So, yeah, definitely rent. That was some of the first advice we got before even moving here. Uh, thanks, Jewel, for that. that Who is uh, a part of African American. In uh, Ecuador, yes. part two. Um, she's the administrator. So, yeah, thanks for that advice. But definitely we tell anybody rent for a while. Just because, so like, let's say we had done like a shorter term rental here and we were like, okay, yeah, you know, this particular area looks great and not stayed here for an entire year because where we are, we can kind of, we can see a lot. And when the weather changed and this, you know, the El Nino or the La Nina switched to El Nino and it started raining an unusual amount, the flooding that we could see was in areas that we were like, oh man, okay, we kind of like a place in that area, mm -hmm. but the streets flood really bad, yeah. and that's a whole another issue that the city is trying to take care of. It's probably not a permanent issue, but that being said, had we moved into that area, we'd have been like, oh my goodness, we should have, we should have been up somewhere somewhere up high so that we can see for at least a year. So now we have a really good idea of places where, where places to be. That's small. I gotta, I gotta look over here. Sorry. You guys are great. So proud of you. My husband and I have been following your journey. We visited last month and didn't want to leave. We'll be back in September. Keep living the dream. We shall. We <laughs> shall. And congrats to you. So, yeah, um, I know one thing that I, I tell people that ask, Ecuador might not be, you know, your solution. Uh, might not be the place for you. It just happened to work for us. You know, but definitely don't be scared to try something different and, and venture out and, you know, live life. You know, would you agree? I would agree. And, you know, within that year, that the year we've been here, we got to see other parts of Ecuador. Mm -hmm. you, um, in our previous video, we videos, we show where we went to Mendo, Otavalo, Cotacachi. Yeah. Yeah, and Quito. Keto, yeah, so and it's beautiful. It really is. You know, yeah. even if you don't plan on relocating in Ecuador, try to come and see it for yourself. You know, it's a beautiful country. Yeah. Whether you're in Salinas, Monta, Cuenca, Quito, um, it's just a beautiful country. Yeah, it really is. So we have, um, we'll, we'll talk about a future trip later, a little bit later, but we do plan on visiting other areas in Ecuador um, within the next year. Hopefully um, we can get to the Galapagos. Yeah, we definitely want to get to the Galapagos. <laughs> um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. So, like, places, if you're wondering, like, places like, we got to go back to Monta because we were only there a couple days the first time. <clears throat> so we want to spend some a lot more time in Monta. Um, places like Loja, maybe uh, Banos. Uh, we need to get back to Cuenca. Um, so, yeah. And other places, he wants to go to the Amazon. I definitely want to go to the Amazon. I, I want to see a giant snake. I won't be there. I don't know where I'll be, but I won't be there. So. <laughs> what um, else you have? So, all right, we were talking about you know living, staying for a year, or renting. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to go to how we communicate, cell phones and stuff. You can. That's your that's your uh, expertise. All right, so. I had done some research before we came about <coughs> cell phone plans and everything. Um, we kind of made a mistake when we first got here, so you may want to do something different. Oh, but, go ahead. Well, you go ahead. No, don't. I was going to say about about getting a SIM card. Yes. Okay. So, okay. The well, guy, we didn't know. Yeah, well, we didn't <laughs> know. So, like the guy that picked us up, you know, he offered to help us get a SIM card. Well, to get the SIM card, you didn't need to have a cedula, or we didn't realize at the time, you just use your passport. And it's for the um, prepaid SIM. So, the thing is, we could have done it on our own with our passport, and it would have been under our names. Yeah, but you don't know. You, you right. know, you live and you learn. 
but he was trying to help and he did and we were able to have our uh, phones um our on cards, yeah. our sim cards and use our cell phones but you know no one is half the battles yeah and we could have used our passport so now yeah so now he has his right I plan went, i went ahead and got a plan it only cost me like an extra two bucks i was only paying 10 bucks anyway um that being said, if you have someone else, it's called a buddy chip. So if you have someone else get a SIM card for you, you're free to use it all you want, especially the prepaid, I mean. But if you try to log in to like Claro, which is the one I use, it's going to have that person's name up there. It doesn't really affect them because it's a prepaid card, but just know that if you try to change anything, that person has to do it. Yeah. Which is the problem I ran into. I had an issue with my, uh, when I was trying to re-up um, re my, uh, cell phone plan refill, his refill and i said well look listen can i just transfer it to my own i have my own schedule and everything and they said no well that guy has to come in I'm like, oh my goodness he lives in waikill so anyway i just long story it. short got my own got my <laughs> own cell phone plan yeah and um i did it that way so yeah make sure obviously make sure you have an unlocked phone and you can get your sim card as soon as you get to land in ecuador you can get it at the airport um so yeah you can get that on your own. The plans are really inexpensive. The amount of gigs you need isn't as much as you might think because in the U.S. Well, you might depends. be on a 5G. No, no, no. It depends on if the person works. Right. Well, I'm just saying, so, if you're just, just regular use. Yeah, regular you have use. different plans that you can, you know, pay for. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, cell phones, really inexpensive, really cool, works great. So, since he's talking about cell phones, paying bills... You will pay if you're renting or buying. Um, you will pay. You can pay your utility bills at the bank. Um, there is an electric company that you go in and pay, or a water kind uh, company. Yeah. Well, there is, but you just don't have to go in and pay. Like right. it doesn't you work. You just like go that. to. Well, here in the condo we we're living in, we pay our water and gas with the admin downstairs. Yeah. The electric you pay at the bank. You if uh, the person, your landlord may give you the bill and you can take it to the bank and pay or you just take the account number and they'll tell you how much it is and you can pay it that way. Um, they have changed because um, we pay at the Bank of Waikil. You cannot pay the bill in full. If it's more than $74. I was going to get there. Oh, I thought you... Okay. I was, go I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Um, is you can only pay seventy five dollars or less, um, if it's se if it's less than seventy five dollars. If it's over seventy five dollars, you got to pay seventy five today. And if it's still over seventy five dollars, you can only pay seventy five dollars the next day, and then you pay the remaining, which could be fifty cent. You still can't pay it. Right. If it's seventy five fifty, you can only pay seventy five. You have to come back and pay the fifty, 50 cents. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's weird. an inconvenience, yeah. but. You know, that we only, we only had to do that once. So, um, the electricity, depending on where you live and how much you run it, you know, it, it can vary. But typically for us, it was like less than 30 bucks. Um, but it got kind of hot this last month or so. It's been and, very hot. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we had to do a, two payments once. So, um, let's see. B said, oh, I guess talking about the elevation, drink a lot of water, rest a lot, first four or five days. Uh, in a week in the altitude, you'll adjust. You live in Colorado. Um, went there from Michigan. Took her a week. So rest, water, eat light, dinner. Eat light, dinner. <laughs> that is true. I find myself being very dehydrated here. Um, more so than I was in the States. So I incorporate either Gatorade or Powerade. And um, I drink one of those a day. For, for whatever reason... I'm, I get dehydrated. I like him. He doesn't. But I drink a ton of water. I, don't know. I think two liters is enough, but apparently not. But so. <laughs> um, okay. Do you use WhatsApp with family or? An, well, yeah. WhatsApp is like the main source of communication in Ecuador. Um, if you have, if you have like, let's say you have Claro. Even with your plan, you can't just call everyone on with your plan, just straight up with like your cell phone, like you would in the States, like a T-Mobile plan. You get like five free numbers that you can add to your account that you can call if they have Claro also. 
That being said, it doesn't really matter because no one calls like that. Every, pretty much everyone uses WhatsApp and it's free. It also doesn't count against your data. So if you have you know, a 10 gig for 30 days uh, plan, WhatsApp and AOL Instant Messenger don't count towards your data. Even the video of, on AOL Instant Messenger and video on WhatsApp don't count towards your data. Who has AOL? AOL Instant Messenger. It's Instant Messenger, AOL. I said AOL. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Facebook. I'm like, I'm sorry. Is this AOL? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I got AOL from. <laughs> She's looking at me crazy like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm you sorry. Just... Facebook Messenger. <laughs> Facebook Messenger. Ah, you went back in time. I really did. <laughs> anyway, Facebook Messenger is free. So everyone uses those. That's going to be your main source of communication. Just know that if you're using WhatsApp, you have to have that person's number in your contacts. No. I added a person to my uh, contacts in WhatsApp today without putting them in. The well, contacts. yeah, because if you have it, if you have it already, you can add it. It just adds it to the contacts in your phone. What I'm saying is that number has to be in your contacts in your phone. It doesn't matter how you add it. If it's not in your contacts, they, you can't call them or text them, but they, they may be able to text you if they have your number. And then you can text back and forth and add them. Well, to answer your question, yes, my relatives have WhatsApp. Yeah. It's easier. Um, now, as far as some um, calls, I do use Google Voice because WhatsApp, sometimes the connection is kind of bad. I'll use Google Voice, and I will use Messenger mm -hmm. if need be. Yeah, if you're in the, the States, I'm not sure about Canada, but if you're in the States, make sure you set up a Google Voice account before you leave the States. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to do it. But the Google Voice, you can just get a local phone number in the United States, and that's the number I use to contact, you know, uh, places in the U.S. that I need to talk yeah. to. Yeah. Um, Did you read that? Oh, I'm sorry. That. What is it? It said your hair looks good. Oh. Oh, you didn't want me to see that. Huh? <laughs> no, I, okay. I put it up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Pennsylvania, Ecuador, so beautiful. Food is delicious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Let's talk about food, um, how we've changed our eating habits Good. from when we got here. All right. So. Someone is <laughs> forced. <but. laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you mean to turn the light on? Can you is slide over there and turn that light on? I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, food. Hold on. Love Thank you, you cat. Uh, food. So when we got here, we ate like crazy. Like we were, we were going out to eat. It's not because you know, we didn't like cooking. We always liked cooking. But we wanted to just try as many different things as we could. And we learned a lot. You know, we didn't get sick, luckily, you know, from you know, food or anything. Um, but we learned a lot, and then we got to the point where, like, a couple months in, we were like, okay, especially after we moved to this place, we are like, okay. Uh, I let's... think more so we went to the market. Yeah. And tried the fruit, and the fruit is so fresh. And yeah. then we um, went to Super Maxi because we needed to get some food put in the condo anyway. Yeah, and then we just started kind of eating at home more. Not to say that we don't eat out. We still do. Uh, but we... Just really cook a lot. Uh, it saves a ton of money. And that, even though the food here is pretty inexpensive, it still saves a ton of money to just, you know, cook. Well, you also want to cut back on carbs. It's um, a lot of carbs. It, it's, it's carb heavy, and I like vegetables, so I try to have more vegetables here. Yeah. You know, whereas some people don't like vegetables, we will have carb and meat. What is it? Meat and potatoes? Are you trying to say that I don't rice? like? I love vegetables. What are you talking about? I love vegetables. Mixed vegetables don't count. Yeah. Vegetables. <laughs> it's not meat. Mixed um, vegetables don't yeah, count. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we've changed our diet uh, uh, in the, you know, since coming here, we started out trying to eat everything and then we've got a taste of everything pretty much now. Um, so yeah, we're pretty satisfied with just eating at home a lot. Uh, what was the next one, dear? Um, 
taxi, bus, well, that's a necessity now. We have the scooter. So for shorter rides, we ride the scooter, but we still take taxi and the bus. The bus is only 35 cents. Um, it goes pretty much in a loop. So you just need to know which bus line you want to get on to go where. Yeah. And a lot of them kind of would bypass one another or yeah. go in the same direction. Um, yeah, you just got to know which, um, which one to get on. Uh, we, we, for months, we didn't ride the bus at all. No. And I don't know why. <laughs> well. We just didn't. The taxi, you could just tell, you know, where to go. We didn't want to just jump on the bus and just be adventurous. Yeah, because we didn't really know where they were going. Yeah. Um, but once we found out, there's one that we just use a lot. So um, it just makes things so much easier, so, so much less expensive. You know, taxi ride is going to be like 2 or $3 for most of the places that we go. Uh, bus, yeah. like you said, is 35 cents. So yeah. you can't beat that. And then the scooter, that, that's just another one. Yeah, um, just bug it up and down. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. How often you work out in boxing or work out in general? Um, so at least five days out of the week, I work out either boxing or the weight room or both. It so depends on how I feel about that day. eight times a week. It depends on how I feel that day. So... Several days a week, I will go to boxing and in like in the morning and lift weights in the afternoon or vice versa. Um, but yeah, that's, that's generally it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great uh, workout for me. I love it because uh, you know if you know me, you know I hate cardio, and the only way I'm gonna do some cardio is in that boxing gym. Uh, so uh, it's, it, it's it works out for me pretty good. Pause. Hmm? You're not the only one to answer that question. Oh, go ahead. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. So I was going to boxing, but um, I was having more issues with my health. So I haven't gone, but I go to the gym um, at least three to four times a week. Um, I'm going to be pushing myself a little bit more to go every day because I want to get to get down in my weight and see if I feel better. Um, but yeah, I, I will eventually go back to boxing, but right now... It's on pause for me. Okay. Uh, we live in Livingston. We live in Salinas. In the Santa Elena province. Love the hair. Thank you. Fried, I'm just definitely good. <laughs> what? It looks really fried. Um, you can kind of get a mix of, of a lot of things here. Um, not there's not as many fried foods no. as you might think, honestly. They fry fish. Yeah. Um, usually, um, it's usually like sauteed. Like if you get pork chop or you get chicken, yeah. it's grilled or yeah. it's either like pan sauteed. seared. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not fried. Yeah, cause like you think about it, like no. Yeah, it's hardly it's not there's not that much fried food here unless they. Posted, like they may have what they call it, what chimichanga pescado fried. Uh, no, like no, 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 no. It's uh, ch chicharron. Yeah, yeah, pescado chicharron. chicharron. Yeah. yeah, and so that's like fried fillet fish. Yeah, or fish. Just fried nuggets, down something fish, like that. Yeah, like catfish nuggets. Um, hola, hola, Ricardo. Hello. Um, where were we? We talked about flooding. You want to talk about when we experienced the King's Tides, when that was before uh, the flooding? Yeah. Uh, so the King Tide comes like yearly or, well, here, as far as I can tell from what I look, it's, it's yearly. But it's, it's like an astronomical thing that happens, and it raises the tides a lot, and it brings these crazy, harsh, high waves. Um, ordinarily, out here, it's pretty calm most of the time, like perfect kayak water. Uh, but the king tide would come in, and it was it was like it was pretty rough. Washing sand know. up in the road, um, smashing yeah, the on people's level houses. Kind of raised, yeah, raised up the water, and it was close to like where the pier was when you walk on the pier. Yeah, it was it like was touching right, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that was you know an experience uh, yeah. to see, and it caused some flooding uh, because the, the water was rushing mm -hmm. over the, oh, the seawall and, and everything. And not only that, it, it brought the sand up, like he said, on the streets mm -hmm. to where they had to get a bulldozer. Yeah, and like and, shovel and it off. And shovel yeah. 
Yeah. Or scoop the sand off the streets. Those poor workers were out there like shoveling and stuff, and it was hot. I felt yeah. really bad for them. Actually. And they were cleaning the streets. Um, it was more than once because that happened. Oh, yeah, it happened several times. Yeah, uh, quite a few times. Usually overnight, it when you got up, you would see yeah. sand on the streets. But other than that, not too bad. And um, there has been a lot of talk about Carnival. Um, we didn't really go out. Well, let me back up. We go back to New Year's Eve because that happened oh, yes, in January. Yeah. Um, New Year's Eve was pretty cool. Yeah, for um, us. For know. us, you know, yeah. seeing that for the first time. Yeah. They closed off the Malecon where we live and the people were out uh, just kind of having a party and having a good time. And uh, a lot of people like dressed in white and everything. And um, yeah, you know, once the the clock struck midnight, you know, everybody they they lit up a bunch of bon bonfires down the Malecon, and you got to throw your little figurines. I forgot what they're called. I'm sorry, but you got to throw them into the uh, fire, and um, it was just a good time. Then we went right back to our apartment <laughs> and enjoyed the fireworks from the balcony. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. it was a, a sight to see. Yeah, it really was. Uh, population of Salinas, I think, I might be wrong, but it might, I think it's like 15,000. It's not that big, honestly. Or less. Yeah, it's not, it's really not that big. Um, so any tidal waves after the earthquake? Okay, so let's talk about the earthquake. It was like a 6.8. Um, not, it wasn't close to here, but it wasn't that far either. Um, we definitely felt it. LaShawn, uh, you can see the look on her face. You want to you talk yeah, about that? You go ahead and talk about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was an experience. I would say that was... Let's start. We did have one when we first moved here. It lasted yeah, it, a few seconds. Yeah, it was, it was small. Yeah. What is it? Uh, were we in the room or... No, we were in the living room. Yeah. And it was it was small. It was... Yeah. That was the one that happened like kind of like off the coast of Salinas. It wasn't even that far away. Oh. Yeah. But then the latest one... Yeah, yeah. You, it you, lasted a little bit too long yeah, for me. Yeah, it was like two minutes. It was crazy. And those two minutes felt like twenty minutes. Yeah. Because you're just sitting there and you're just moving like this, and you hear the doors. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have a little seagull. He had that on the video. It was flying. It was trying to take off. So I wish not I a real seagull. But no. <laughs> it was like it was a little like yeah. thing that hangs I wanted over to the take door. off with him because yeah. I was like, "What's happening?" Yeah. But um, you know, it's a it's a natural. Thing. Thing. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Just like what's what happened in Arkansas. Oh, Is like it, the tornadoes. Yeah, the tornadoes. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Um, for those who come in, what did you? Oh, for those of us coming, what did you not bring that you wish you had brought, and, or recommendations? You, you Blender. Okay. Blender, that's one. Anything else? Blender, uh, well, I would say a ninja because it's a food processor. <laughs> um, blender, all of that. Oh, well, oh. Okay, so good quality blender. How about that? Uh, yeah, it good quality. It doesn't have to quality. be a ninja, but oh, good quality. If I had known, I would have brought my KitchenAid because I saw a KitchenAid in Wyakil. KitchenAid, the um, mixer? The mixer. Okay. That joker was six or $700. Yeah. Like the same one she had in the States. And it was a classic, not the pro. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's, but I managed. You know, I bake <laughs> cakes. I use a little hand mixer. It does the job. Um, but yeah, it would have been a blender. Probably my um, KitchenAid. Because, you know. Yeah. Um, for me, it was the my back massager that I got rid of before we left. Mm. Um, because finding one here was a pain, and I ended up having to get one brought to me anyway. Yeah, uh, it was the same one I had, honestly. Um, so yeah, that was maybe for me the only. And my cast iron skillets, I still oh, have yeah. them. Um, hopefully, I can bring them next time I come. Um, it's just you know things that I could buy in the states that were convenient, like coconut oil. Um, oh. I found coconut oil probably like this big. Well, maybe a four ounce, yeah. maybe four ounce or five ounce, and it was like nine dollars. Yeah, it, it, which doesn't days. make sense because I feel like I feel like we could start our own coconut oil business. There's so many coconuts <laughs> down here, I can't understand why coconut oil costs so much here. 
Yeah. Which is, I guess it just has to do with a manufacturing type thing. It's not manufactured here for whatever reason. I don't know. But yeah, like stuff like that is expensive and it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Did you answer that? Hmm? What was it? I don't know. Yeah, that's the one we just looked at. Oh, okay. At. Yep. Uh, how's the weather in Salinas? Rainy every day in Wyakilt. Yeah, we heard. It's not raining every day here, but it, it rains has, at night. Yeah, and it, it has like, rained. Yeah. It may drizzle some nights, then some nights. What was it last, last night? night? Yeah, it was thunder. The night before last. No, it was last night. No, no, it was th- it was it was like lightning and stuff last night. But the night before last, we had that big thunderstorm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was like an actual thunderstorm, which we hadn't really seen. I here. mean, it's rained maybe once or twice a week. Um, yeah, so far. yeah, sometimes maybe yeah. more, but sometimes there's like drizzle, and then sometimes it's like actual rain. Um, so we've had a couple of those like actual rain days, recently. and but it doesn't last long. So if you yeah, see, usually, yeah, um, you will see the storm coming, and sometimes it doesn't even rain. Yeah, and then three hours later, you'll see it drizzle. Yeah, so like we look like from our balcony, we can look towards Waikil, and you can actually kind of see like the storm coming this way. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes it just doesn't even reach us. So you know, yeah. it is it is what it is. Crapshoot. Problem with language, or do you already speak? No, uh, we do, we do, we do not speak very well. And yes, we do have a problem with. Um, <laughs> so, I, I will definitely say this: we are ten times better than we were when we first got here. But that's that's, still, that's not a high bar. Like no. we started no. really low. Okay, so, <laughs> so one of one to ten, we're at a two. Yeah. So or maybe yeah. two and a half. Yeah, we started at zero. <laughs> we started at zero point one, and we're like, we're at two now. Um, so yeah, the language is a barrier, which is where our friend Stephanie really comes in handy to help us with some things. Um, but we are on the day to day a lot better than we were when we first got here. Yeah. You know, when we first got here, all we could do was order food, basically. Um, now I can kind of, if someone calls me and starts speaking in Spanish, you I can, can. kind of, I can yeah. kind of keep up with what's going on. Then I tell them like, okay, English, you know, <laughs> I, I think I, so like if I'm getting a delivery or something or like the people downstairs might call up here. I can, I can carry on that five second conversation like, oh, okay. I understand what he's saying. C. Yes. You know, and he's good at C and it's it may C, not C. be C. I might be saying C to the wrong thing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we're definitely a lot better. Like she studies more than I do, honestly. So she knows more words. Yeah, I know but, more words. I can read it more so than speak it and yeah, understand it. Yeah, I, I'm better at just kind of understanding what people are saying to me. Uh, so we just kind of work together. We're yeah. always together, so we just kind of work together. With and it's other. helpful. Yeah, because I'll be saying like, "Yeah, this is what she said," and he's like, "No, she didn't." No, she did not say that. Right, close enough. Huh? <laughs> Uh, South American. Hello from Los Angeles. We love you guys. Thank you for thank your videos. You. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank we really you. appreciate. It. We appreciate thank anybody joining us. Yeah, um, we 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 love uh, having people come and join us and ask questions, and um, it keeps us on our toes. You know, we got to know. We got to be on top of things. So we really appreciate it. Rain is good for the agriculture. Absolutely. Oh yes, because all the rain we've had, yeah. we now see green grass. Yeah. The trees are green. You yeah. know, because before it was kind of it was just brown. Like Salinas is a desert te- on the coast. It's like a desert climate, and has something to do with like the currents and the ocean and all that. But it it's basically brown most of the time. And like the one last, day we looked down, we were like, like oh, oh, it's God, green. It was crazy. It's yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> So yeah, there's lots of like grass and stuff now. It's weird. <laughs> uh, like your videos, even if I don't understand your language, and I'm glad you're doing well. Take care. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. So you much. Thank you. I try to do the like translation and um, subtitles in a lot of the videos, but sometimes it doesn't work because YouTube takes a long time to process it. So sometimes I forget to come back and then add the subtitles. But I try to stay on top of it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, next weekend, Salinas will be fat, packed. Local tourists, Passover, Good Friday. Yep. Yes. We were here last Easter. And, and it was packed. It was packed. Packed, packed. Um, so we're expecting the same thing this year. 
But do you think it'll outdo um, uh, New Year's Eve? Because it no. went all night. Cars was coming in all no. night. No. But, you know, um, maybe. Well, I don't know. Because they might be, I think they're doing like a new curfew or whatever at 1, 1 a.m. Are they? That was part of that, what the president was saying last night. I don't know. I'm about okay. to look into it. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it's definitely going to be busy. I know that. Ah, we're favorite foods in Ecuador. <laughs> You DJ said Seco. you said Seco de Chivo. That is that was one of my favorite. When I first got here, if I didn't know what to order, I would get Seco de Chivo because I love it. That's one of the best dishes I've ever eaten. It's just a, it's such an ordinary like easy dish, and it's so good. Um, but for me now, I would say my go-to is uh, cazuela, uh, like mm. the seafood casserole, and some rice. I can't, it's like I can't go wrong. Any restaurant that has it, I'll order it. I, it can't go wrong. So, what about you? Okay, so when I first got here, it was um, Sopa de uh, Pollo. Oh, was, oh the ch uh, chicken soup. Yeah. It was chicken soup. Then it went to uh, Chupa de Pescado. Chupa de Pescado. Chupa de Pescado. And now, as you saw in my video with my friend, Crab Cloth. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she loves those crab claws. Oh, they're so amazing. <laughs> you can't get those too often. Either. No, I can't get those too often. It's a little <laughs> on the expensive side, yeah. but yeah. it was definitely a treat. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ceviche, love it. Love oh, ceviche. yeah, love ceviche. Love ceviche. Love ceviche. Really? I don't like the red ceviche. Oh, yeah, she doesn't like it with like the tomato base in no. it. I don't, I don't really, I don't really hate it. I just don't really care for it as much. It's not a preference. Yeah. No question about people renting that come or own. Oh, okay. Well, so some people that come down here are, have purchased a place, mm -hmm. and you they know, just come. come every, to, yeah, they come every. It's some every people year. stay stay three months. Some people stay half a year. It yeah. just depends, and usually they own. Um, there are some people who come and stay in Airbnb for three months. Yeah. Um, and more. leave. Yeah. Um, it, there's a mix, but it's usually. From, from, I'm not going to say just the people that we personally know. It's usually just people coming down to rent. Um, but we do know people that own who come down, you know, periodically. Yeah. <clears throat> or who, come, who, who have purchased and are coming down permanently. Yeah, that too. Um, okay. Oh, this one hasn't popped up yet. I uh, also really enjoy your content. Curious as to how much to fill your scooter with gas. Where are the gas prices for per gallon? So, we do not own a gas scooter yeah our scooter is electric yep. um the gas is boop, similar boop, to boop, the boop, 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 boop. <laughs> what, what is that That's the electric slide oh anyway <laughs> um i forgot what i was gonna say go ahead <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's an electric scooter we wanted to get an electric scooter because we just didn't want to have to deal with buying gas and we knew we weren't gonna be going that far so our electric scooter can go like uh 50 or 60 kilometers uh, which is so plenty. Like about it's, 45, 50 It's miles like 40 miles. miles. Yeah, it's, it's per, we're definitely not going that far no. on that scooter. No, uh, and not fast a, either. A few <laughs> miles is the furthest. Um, so, yeah, you don't have to worry about filling it up. Gas prices here are, for whatever reason, like regular is really cheap, but then premium is really expensive. It's like the prices in the uh, States. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like I don't know. What regular gas is in the States is how much it costs in premium. Right. Here. So, one other thing, though, like here, and I can't really speak so much for like Wyatt Hill, but I know here in like Salinas, there aren't that many gas stations. No. It's not like the U.S. where you see gas stations everywhere. It's not the same here. And because I believe they're mostly like uh, government run anyway. But you, the distances really aren't that far. No. So, like people fill up and like you, you can ride on that fill up for a long time. If you're staying in like the Salinas area... In, the, in like Santa Elena, you, chances are it's going to take you a while to burn that gas. I wouldn't know, so I yeah. can't say. I'm just saying because there's not that many gas stations and like we never see a line. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not like people are piled up at the gas station to get no, gas. Yeah, no. There's almost never a line it's, at the it's, gas station. It's usually empty. You may see one or two cars. Yeah, one there. or two cars, a scooter, a motorcycle. That's it. Yeah, and a lot of people have scooters and motorcycles too, which yeah. like run a forever. lot of electric scooters. There's too. a lot of electric scooters. So, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I know we went on a tangent, but yeah. Yeah, you went on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, our scooter's electric. Um, over here, sorry, I jumped on late. Thank you. I see you both. We look both relaxed. We are. And I try to relax way more than he does, but. I just, I can't. It's hard for me to just sit still. And the difference, the difference in our personalities where we're kind of like, I don't know, it kind of works out, honestly. When she relaxes, like she relaxes. She doesn't want any noise. She doesn't, she doesn't want to chill. She I sit out on the balcony. I sit on the balcony and look into, just look off in the yeah. distance. Like, do whatever. Whatever. Playing some music, whatever. Looking yeah. at my flowers, playing music. I'm just, I'm zoned out. That's yeah. what I came here for. I, I, I zone yeah. out. For me, relaxing is like it's doing, doing all the stuff that I want to do. Doing stuff. Like, <laughs> so, like editing videos. Like, and she knows. Like, yeah. That's you know, his thing. Editing he, videos that's takes, how he it, relaxes. It takes hours. And I'm teaching myself things all the time. So mm -hmm. like when I'm teaching myself something, to her it seems like I'm working. But to me, like I love it. So I don't know. Yeah. That's just I relax different. Yeah. So I relax been by one doing spot, stuff. I've been in another spot, and and that's great. Yeah. We'll come together, um, to yeah. watch a movie, and, eat, you know, eat, and cook, talk whatever. every now and then, and then I'm like go back, and I go that way. <laughs> so it works out yeah, well. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, thanks, Raul. Appreciate you. Thank you. You've been around the entire time, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, where were we? Uh, you want to talk about Carnival? That was the last... Was that the last event? That was the last big one. Yeah. I think. Was it? Yeah, that was in yeah. February 20th. We haven't had anything, I don't think. Yeah. Maybe. Carnival was kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We didn't really even go outside. We just went out like kind of on the... We went on the terrace. On the terrace. And that was it. And looked and um, didn't step foot on the street. One, because here in Ecuador... How they do carnival, they throw water on you, they foam, foam you, yeah. you know, and it's all fun because you and you know that's what they do, so you need to anticipate that happening to you on the streets. Um, you know, it, it got kind of bad when I saw people had huge five barrel uh, water, water, drum, yeah. water drums Barrels. on the back of a truck yeah. and they were taking pails of water, throwing on people. I was like, mm, I'm good, yeah, so. For me, uh, I didn't want to go out there and start filming and then get like sprayed and splashed and like, I just, I wasn't about to do all that. So, yeah. But they looked like they were having fun. They like they were having fun. You know, I they, don't know what happened after midnight. Yeah, there were some <laughs> issues apparently, you know. Yeah. But, you know, people, people any situation, yeah, if you have a big situation where a lot of people are there and a lot of people are drinking, yeah. something stupid is going to happen. Yeah. So. so. That's all we got to say about that. <laughs> uh, okay, he's not, this hasn't popped up yet. Soul Whisperer. Let's see. Uh, hey, from, hey, congrats. Love the hair. Waving from Cuenca. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, favorite soccer team in Ecuador for you? Uh, let's see. Is that, yeah, is that, I'm not sure what team that is. E M E L E C or Barcelona. So, uh, since we have never watched a soccer game in our lives up until uh, up until okay. uh, the, the uh, uh, World Cup, yeah, World Cup, we were just rooting for Ecuador. <laughs> we were just rooting for Ecuador. Ecuador, and then you know, and then the U S. So, um, yeah, I don't have a favorite. So whenever uh, I don't know, whenever the situation arises, we'll just. Root Pick whatever point. Ecuadorian team. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know why this is a, there's a delay on this one. So there's a holiday next week. Yeah. yeah it's we Holy have, Week. Holy, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be busy. Uh, Celeste, knowing Ecuador as much as you do at this point, could you recommend a city that could showcase the country <clears throat> best for a solo woman traveler trying to visit this summer? Um, uh, I, go ahead. No, what? I because I can see. Uh, It'll pop up over here like in a minute, but it hasn't yet. Well, you answer it since you can see it. I, um, I don't have so my glasses on. For, I would say, the easy bet is like start with Cuenca. 
as long as you can deal with the altitude and the cool weather. Honestly, cool. It's really not that cold to me personally. Uh, I know some people think it's really cold. Um, bring it a can be cooler. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I know when we went to Cuenca, we had three seasons in a day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it was very cool in the morning. Then it got hot. The sun came out because so, I had on a jacket. Then you take the jacket off. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's, it's we, nice. We were on the bus and then went up the mountain. Yeah, and it was nice. like cool. So you had to put the jacket back on. So it's, it fluctuates. But um, I think it's very doable. Keto. Mm -hmm. Keto is very nice. And I feel like it kind of display. Yeah. You but it's more you, a metropolitan yeah. area. I don't. I, I would say, like, the reason I would just say Cuenca is because it's smaller than Quito, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little bit safer, you know, yeah. um, and, you know, it's beautiful. Like, it's up in the mountains, and there's a lot of scenery outside of um, Cuenca. And not only that, in Cuenca, there's a huge, a large expat community yeah. um, there, so I'm pretty sure you can run into someone who can, yeah. you know, uh, direct you. Yeah, and check, I check a few and Facebook they, groups. I know they have a. They should have a fa uh, Quanko Facebook group. Yeah, yeah. Check the Facebook groups and uh, just, you know look for things to do. But I would just say yeah, if you're just starting out, like go there, you'll get a, a pretty decent feel of the country. Yeah. Now, now if you want to be on coast, the coast, the coast is different. Yeah, the coast yeah, is totally coast is different. different. Uh, we can speak about speak about uh, Salinas because we're here. Is very small you can you know like we say take a bus and taxi to the store and come back we only have one mall mm -hmm. um monta is on the coast you have um there's, there's a bunch of little towns on the coast yeah like, you, it you just depends visit. on what you're looking for yeah and the type of lifestyle type of life the type of visit you want to you want to have but yeah. I, like i said i would just say you know quake is a good is a good starting place honestly um oh mike's camera stand so, oh yeah, 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 I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, I'll put it in the description. Um, cat, I agree. Yep, Keto is great in Cuenca. Yeah, yeah. Those are two good places to start. Especially, like I said, if Cuenca could, has a lot, but Keto has a lot around yeah. to do too. So you can find like a, dry, a tour guide, a tour, um, yeah. tour guide. And um, we've had... We have a video showing you um, our trips around Quito when we went to Mendo, Otavalo, and Cotacachi. Yeah. And yeah. they have a driver that can take you to see some of those places, which is beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Like, it really is. The altitude is something, though. It's, oh, yeah. The altitude, know. if you can't do deal with altitude, um, I wouldn't stay as long. <laughs> or, you know, maybe stay long enough to get used to it. Give yourself... Give yourself some time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you get like a, different. Right. If you get like an Airbnb or something, maybe do it like a week at a time. Cause you may after that first week be like, you know what, I can't do this. Or after that first week you might feel great and you'll say, Okay, I'm gonna do another week, maybe somewhere else. But anyway, give yourself some time because it can take longer for some people to acclimate to uh, altitude than others. Uh Dave, my wife and I are planning to migrate to Cuenca later this year. Awesome. Awesome. We definitely get back to Cuenca sooner, sooner rather than later. Woo. Okay. You got it. Uh, seems like you're both getting what you want out of this move. You relax, smile, say a lot. Hope next year brings all the fun, exploration, relaxation you want. Yes, <laughs> so do we. <laughs> well, if I get any more relaxed, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Might be. not go anywhere. Really. <laughs> <laughs> might not do anything. Uh, love Cuenca's cat. Love Cuenca had issue with elevation at first couple of days. We drank lots of electrolytes, electrolytes and, and what's fine, what's fine afterwards. After. Yeah, and yeah. It seems to be the. That's how I was when we got there. I had um, some issues with the altitude the first day. Yeah, and then a couple of days later, I start yeah. feeling better. Uh, Temple, thank you, thank you. Uh, Loja, Loja, Oh, we definitely want to get to Volcabamba too. Um, and cozy city, yeah, the cozy cities <clears throat> made it. Joanna, <laughs> Joanna made it. Oh my god, <laughs> her friend, y'all. <laughs> if you go back and look at our video, can you she, stay? Can you be here on time? I sent you a message. <laughs> uh, 
many people started in Cuenca. I started here and never felt, never left in nine years. Nice, nice. Awesome. Hopefully, we can be here nine years or more. All right. Um, so yeah, they chose Salinas and not Cuenca. It would be by sea or the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. If I could do the altitude, I definitely think we would be either in Cuenca, or maybe Quito, or on the outskirts yeah. of Quito. Yeah, we really like Quito. Just I know you know some parts of Quito, you know maybe they aren't place they want to be, but like what the part of Quito that we experienced, it was, it was really nice. It yeah, was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, we plan to reside oh. because the temperature is nice. Yeah. Yeah. That temperature is you know. Is, you, yeah. If you don't mind being cool, you know, especially like it's at not night. Bad. No, yeah, no, I'm talking about at night. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause it's cool here. Um, like starting. Yeah, June. during the winter months here. It's, yeah, it's cooler. Yeah, it's cool all day and all night, but it's like the same temperature all day and all night. Yeah, so and you can just put on like a pullover. Yeah. Um, let's see. <clears throat> uh, for keto, she can go to many other places, such as Otavalo, Mendo, and uh, other places. Oop, hold on. Could you live in Kotakachi? Maybe when we visited Kotakachi, it's a really small town. Um, it's, Which is not it's bad. A, it's not. No, it's not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a small town. Um, but, like, I don't know. We probably have to spend, be, more, time spend more time there and actually, like, maybe stay there for a week or two and really get the feel of it. Because mm -hmm. we're not sure what it would be like, like, when it's raining a lot. You know, it's, you know, so. I don't know if you'll find that in two weeks, though. Yeah, I know. I, we, I think we just need more. We need more time. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, you keep skipping over things you're not answering. Oh, uh, okay. So, to answer the previous question for keto, she can go to many other places such as Otavalo, Mendo, and other places. Very true. That's where we. That's what we did from keto. Mm -hmm. um, you can make a whole day trip of it. Uh, Joe, super relaxed. Can't help but be relaxed. This is very true. <laughs> That's true. I love Kodakachi, so clean and beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was a nice looking place. It was. And then you could smell the leather, like when you first. Yeah, it was. That was Kodakachi, yeah. not Oda, mm -hmm. Oda Valley. Yeah. Jane, good to see everything working out for you both. Mm, Appreciate thank you. Thank you. I know who that is. <laughs> the, his name ain't James Madison, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Alicia, congratulations on your one year and move anniversary. Move. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank yes. you so much. Um, would you want to you talk about the uh, upcoming? Oh, so. Yes. Our upcoming trip. We are going to Italy. Yeah. So and I'm looking forward to that, and um, hopefully, you know, nothing happens. I've been reading on the strike they've been having over there, and some places are closed and that's, whatnot. That's in France. Oh, is it France? France I, has a strike. Not okay, either. well, yeah. I've been looking at both Italy and France, so yeah. just to see because they're both close to one another. But yes, we're going to Rome, Italy. Yep, and. Wherever we can get to from there, um, coming soon. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. That's coming pretty soon, actually. Uh, we kind of can't wait. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't wait. Neither one has actually been to Europe, so yeah, we kind of can't wait to go. Uh, let's see here. Celeste, uh, thank you for the advice. Oops. I love to chill. Your day of sitting on the patio, start staring in space is more my speed. Well, it sounds like an Airbnb with good scenery will work. I don't rip run anymore. Yeah, neither do we. No. Neither do we. Yeah. Have we, no reason. We to. try to avoid it as much as possible, actually. Oh, yeah. Make a list. Go to the store. Get what you need. Come back. Go back on the back on the balcony. <laughs> uh, first time seeing your channel. Well, thank you for being here. I thank appreciate you. you. Joe, yay! I guess you're talking about yay for the trip. Oh. <laughs> yay! Yes, girl, you know it. <laughs> um, so we did uh, create a a moving guide. Uh, so relocation if, guide. Yeah, relocation guide. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
it's, you know, fairly short guides really just uh, gets down to the basics, things you need to know if you want to move to Ecuador. And we do plan to maybe try to uh, make some guides for other other locations, other destinations. You know, we got to get enough information, obviously. Um, but uh, along with that, um, if you're coming here, we created a, a quick tutorial on how to sign up for IESS health insurance after you get your cedula. Um, once again, thanks, Stephanie, for helping us with that process. Yes. Yeah, uh, we don't know how we would have did it. Well, actually, we probably could have done it, but no, we probably we screwed have. it up. No, right. I will. <laughs> There's no need to even try. Just go with someone who knows. Yeah. Um, so, so if, by chance, you're interested in those things, we created a Patreon. If the, the link will be in the description. Um, if you do sign up for the Patreon, we'll send you the, move, the relocation guide and the video for the IESS sign-up. I've already done it. It's, it's there. So, just so you know. Uh, let's see. Yep, Italy. And wherever else. <laughs> yes. Oh, Italia is on, on my, my bucket, bucket list. list. Yes. Oh, okay. I was just about to ask your plans for training outside of Ecuador. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. When when we um, go to Italy or wherever, I gotta f figure out a way to kind of stay in shape. I'm kind of a gym rat, so I I'll figure it out. I think the whole uh, the place we're staying has a has, gym, has so gym, yeah. I look out for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she picked that one out. So, <laughs> um, yeah, sis, uh, one of my dream places to visit. The joys are relocating, you're right. That's right. Because, you know, I feel like, you know, there's no limit. Just go. Yep. Uh, how exciting. So fun. Can't wait for you. Yeah, we really can't wait. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't even know why he said that. I'm it's not you. like you're working right now. I know. I, well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's true. I guess it's just like um, just something exciting. totally different. I love, yeah. I love doing things that are just different. And it's something totally different for us. Um. So well, yeah, that, that'll be pretty cool. And we're going to document it, obviously. So, you know, just stay tuned to the channel and follow our whole journey. Uh, wow, Italy, can you stop by Virginia? Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to stop by. We're going to stop by. We're going to be after. We'll <laughs> <laughs> be on the way back. Though. Sorry. <laughs> um, several weeks. We'll be there for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there for a while. It, it, it'll be long enough for us to, you know, see Italy, see some other areas mm -hmm. around. So, yeah. and the one thing we can say is uh, we're very um, grateful and fortunate for this opportunity because if we were working, I don't think we could have spent enough time in oh, seeing yeah, some yeah. of the places that we've we, been yeah, to. Yeah, we don't be going for like maybe a week or something yeah, like that. So, um, so yeah, it's definitely, definitely really fortunate in that aspect. Uh, Florence, that's one of the places we plan to visit. Yeah, we heard that Florence is great. Yeah. Wish the Pope good health. I heard something happened to him. That's right, yeah. Uh, congrats on your one year anniversary. First time visiting your channel. Did you retire after moving abroad? No, we retired we, before we moved yeah, abroad. Yeah, we, we forced <laughs> retirement. Yeah, we just, we just quit. Yeah. Um, and it's been great. Yeah, if it's your first time here, I just, just quick recap. We just, I came up with an idea. And say, hey, let's move outside the country and quit our jobs. She was with it. And, and you know, we, we, are. we picked a country and bam, here we are. We quit, sold everything. And um, yeah, here we are. I think actually I linked in the description of this um, live stream the playlist that shows our process for leaving. So uh, thanks for sharing the experience. Absolutely. You're absolutely welcome. If it's not top secret. Where to from Italy? <laughs> well, we're, well, you're going to see us. How about that? Yeah, you're going to see us. Why are you asking now? Yeah, you're going to see us. I'll be giving you a call. <laughs> Oops. Uh, good to see you two. Take care. We'll give you a thumbs up. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Oops, let's get one. Okay. Oh, good. We do get to come with you then. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I try to document everything, so. Uh, let's see. A week, you wouldn't catch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A week wouldn't do it. It wouldn't do it. Do um, you have any uh, closing 
things to say that you'd like to speak about in our past year other than it's been kind of awesome? It's been kind of awesome. <laughs> um, you know, I think if you're going to relocate or if you're going to go anywhere abroad, just go with an open mind and, you know, just try to leave... What is it? Um, your leave, biases? Leave, uh, leave the leave nonsense biases back and stuff. Yeah. in another country. Where, it doesn't matter which country you leave it. Just leave it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and, and come with something new. Yeah. Um, come open. Open-minded. And, and, and just, try the food. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. The try, food is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Try to be part of the culture, you know, if you can. You know, if I, I can't understand if you want to come here and just hate the people for whatever reason. So, like, why I come here? But, you know, try to enjoy the culture and be a part of it where you can. Um, and meet new people. Meet new people. Meet meet locals. Meet you know, not locals. not just other expats. Meet locals. I mean, you can meet other expats, yeah. so they can give you like oh, uh, yeah. resources and stuff like that. But also meet locals here. They're yeah. very friendly yeah. um, and welcoming. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. They're, the locals are really awesome, actually. So, uh, okay, let me answer these last few questions, comments. Uh, glad to see. Glad you guys can not only live abroad but also continue to explore the world at your own pace. You two have an amazing time in Italy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alicia. What did Joe, you just do? I clicked this right here. Oh. Uh, what a great what journey this far. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, is the humidity as is the humidity as such in Salinas that you have to worry about your belongings while you're gone? Mold. Cl- Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, real quick, even when it's really cool, there's a lot of moisture in the air. But during the cool months, so for months here before it actually got warm, like in was it December, when it got oh. like hot. Well, anyway, when the sun really came out, that's when you felt the humidity because the sun was kind of bright and it was yeah. it was got a little warm, but you could feel the humidity. But during the winter months, like six months of the year. It was kind of cool, kinda cool but and, if your you stuff know. is in a in a dark area, you know, it, you can find like my shoes, some of my sandals had, had mold, mold on, on it. Yeah, because there's like a lot of moisture in yeah. the air. And my jacket had, so yeah. we just get the what the spray. Yeah, the spray and like this powder here. They sell it every store. Um, that stuff it keeps away like fungus, and the spray is really good. You spray something, even if it has the mold on, it, it goes away. Yeah, um, so it's really convenient. Yeah, especially if, like, shoes and stuff like that. So, yes, that is that is a thing. And it's salt air right here, so yeah. also, like, you know, things You'll that aren't it, stainless steel will, will get, like, rust on them. And yeah. So well, that was actually a really good question. Thank yeah. you. Thank Excellent you. advice. Excellent advice. Yep. How to, How fly. to fly to Italy. Um, Portugal. Air Portugal? Yeah. 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 Air Portugal. Yep. And from Panama. No, not flying from Panama. Or Miami. Okay. I'm sorry. I have so many flights on my head. Um, yeah. I, can you, Can buy, you buy cotton clothes? Yeah. 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 <coughs> well, thanks, sis. Uh, congratulations, bro and sis. I can't believe it's been a year. Can't wait to see you guys. You're an inspiration for me. Continue to live the dream. We Thank shall. Thank you. Thank you. We shall, big sis. Um, he said, what's the oh, bottle? Oh, bottle you held up? <coughs> okay, it's like this talcum powder. It's called Rico. Give me that can, the cup. Oh, all right. Get us some water here. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, it's called uh, Talco Rico. And uh, they make the can spray version of this as well. Um, this stuff is really good. It's like um, tough acting to actin, basically. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. So and this how is safe? The other can. Oh, yeah. This is the can. <clears throat> so it's not just for feet. Um, Oh, how safe do we feel in Selena? We feel pretty safe. You know, we don't we don't do a lot of like unsafe stuff to begin with. Um, well, you don't have to do unsafe well, stuff. Well, yeah, you something can happen to anyone. Yeah. But you know, we don't. I don't know. Like we we feel pretty safe. Um, we don't do a lot of walking around anyway. When we're going somewhere, we're going somewhere, yeah. and we're coming back. We don't just prolong, hang around the yeah. beach, or just. 
just walking anywhere. We yeah. always have a purpose of where we're going. Yeah. We just take like regular precautions. Like most of the precautions you take in the United States if you're in somewhere you, where it was maybe unfamiliar or whatever. Um, but and no, we don't personally feel unsafe. <clears throat> Did I click that one? No. Yes. Okay. Can you use a fan to fight humidity? <laughs> Not no. really. No, you no. need AC. No, the fan you just collects the water. <laughs> It collects the water and then slings it everywhere. <laughs> Just close the doors, turn on the AC. Yeah, you turn on dehumidifier or something like that. But it's even though it is like humid now, it's really it's not, not like it's not. It's not sticky humid. Right, right? it's, it's hard get, to explain. You can if you're out there, like say it can be humid up up on our floor. But you go downstairs and go on the beach, it's nice, nice and, and cool. cool. Yeah. But it just depends on, on which the way the wind day. is blowing. Yeah. We may not be getting wind. Yeah. Because we're at like kind of like the point of a peninsula. So like the air the air blows from both sides sometimes. All and around. The, it, it may be humid, but it's really not like that sticky down south United States, like Florida humid. It's not, it's not the same. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Never knew that. Okay. Um, so... Any, I mean, do you have any other questions over there before you uh, close no, out? No, that was the last one. Okay. Um, we really thank everyone that came. Yes. And everyone that joined us, we really appreciate it. We really enjoyed our last year here. Uh, hopefully we'll come back for the two-year uh, live stream. Yeah. Um, On to new and new better, and better things. things. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel safe walking a dog. That's, it, people walk dogs I can look, I hear people walking dogs all day. And the day. dogs walk dogs. Yeah. <laughs> they walk themselves. Yeah, so. there's people walking dogs all night. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thanks. And I will uh, be in the stream here soon, and I'll re-upload most of this in a shorter version. But yeah, uh, if you don't already uh, subscribe, subscribe to our channel, hit the thumbs up, like, and, and share with others. Share with others, yeah. You know, if anyone you know that maybe want to relocate, whether it's Ecuador or anywhere else, and they want to know, um, um, have some questions, please just send them our way. Yep. Yeah, so, um, yeah, click any of the links down in the description if you want to see our past videos. And thanks a lot. Thank you, Kat. Blessings on our journey. Really appreciate it. So, right. once again, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.